Welcome to this training session on sheet metal layout and forming terms. The following terms are commonly used in sheet metal forming and flat pattern layout. Familiarity with these terms aids in understanding how bend calculations are used in a bending operation. Base measurement, the outside dimensions of a formed part. Base measurement is given on the drawing or blueprint or may be obtained from the original part. Leg, the longer part of a formed angle. Flange, the shorter part of a formed angle, the opposite of leg. If each side of the angle is the same length, then each is known as a leg. Grain of the metal, natural grain of the material is formed as the sheet is rolled from molten ingot. Bend lines should be made to lie at a 90 angle to the grain of the metal if possible. Bend allowance, BA, refers to the curved section of metal within the bend, the portion of metal that is curved in bending. The bend allowance may be considered as being the length of the curved portion of the neutral line. Bend radius, the arc is formed when sheet metal is bent. This arc is called the bend radius. The bend radius is measured from a radius center to the inside surface of the metal. Bend tangent line, BL, the location at which the metal starts to bend and the line at which the metal stops curving. All the space between the band tangent lines is the bend allowance. Neutral axis, line, an imaginary line that has the same length after bending as it had before bending. After bending, the bend area is 10 to 15 percent thinner than before bending. Mold line dimension, MLD, the dimension of a part made by the intersection of mold lines. It is the dimension the part would have if its corners had no radius. Mold point, the point of intersection of the mold lines. The mold point would be the outside corner of the part if there were no radius. K factor, the percentage of the material thickness without stretching or compressing of the material, such as the neutral axis. This percentage has been calculated and is one of 179 numbers on the K chart corresponding to one of the angles between 0 degrees and 180 degrees to which metal can be bent. Setback, SB. The distance the jaws of a brake must be set back from the mold line to form a bend. In a 90 degrees bend, SB equals R plus T, radius of the bend plus thickness of the metal. The setback dimension must be determined prior to making the bend because setback is used in determining the location of the beginning bend tangent line. Sight line, also called the bend or brake line. It is the layout line on the metal being formed that is set even with the nose of the brake and serves as a guide in bending the work. Flat, that portion of a part that is not included in the bend. It is equal to the base measurement, MLD, minus the setback. Closed angle, an angle that is less than 90 degrees when measured between legs, or more than 90 degrees when the amount of bend is measured. Open angle, an angle that is more than 90 degrees when measured between legs or less than 90 degrees when the amount of bend is measured. Total developed width, TDW, the width of material measured around the bends from edge to edge. Finding the TDW is necessary to determine the size of material to be cut. The TDW is less than the sum of mold line dimensions since the metal is bent on a radius and not to a square corner as mold line dimensions indicate. This concludes this training session. We hope you found it useful.